Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update and market update for Wednesday, December the 19th. And we'll start with the S&P. Um, if you did not see, we had a pretty uh, messy day today. We had Fed Day, the reason the market uh, went a little crazy. Uh, we had Fed meeting today and the market was anticipating a rate hike which we got 25 basis point rate hike but they were also anticipating some dovish talk from the fed saying that uh, they were going to hold off on rate hikes or or whatever and the fed did just the opposite and was kind of uh, said that they're going to do two more rate hikes next year um, instead of three, which I guess is slightly dovish, but uh, or it can be interpreted to be more hawkish than people were expecting. So either way, the market didn't like it. And as you can see here, this is pretty crazy. We went from 25.85 um, all the way down to 24.88. So about a hundred point move straight down pretty much straight down in 30 minutes or an hour or something like that. And we kind of just chopped into the close here and never really regained anything. Um, so very disheartening for the market. Um, I said in the video last week, let me go back out here to a one year chart. I was looking at this thinking, um, you know, the Fed can, could come out here and, um, you know, with some dovish talk and kind of soothe things. The market's in, in um, kind of been in sketchy territory anyway to begin with. And uh, the Fed could have soothed, soothed the market a little bit with a little better response, I think. Even though they hiked, everybody was expecting that. I think it was a 76% chance of a rate hike, and they did. Uh, but anyway, the um, in looking at this, what I was talking about last week, you know, we keep looking at these past levels, and now we've taken, you know, we've taken them all out. Um, so that does open the doorway to, you know, possibly lower, lower, lower prices down here. Now, what I was thinking in last week's video is that if we kind of made our way up a little here a little bit. Um, and the Fed was somewhat dovish. We might get back up here. There's the 200 day. We get some short covering. We come back up here and um, which would that could open the door to, you know, to higher prices. So none of that happened, right? Um, we just keep going down, down, down. We have just now we've broken the uh, this is a one year chart. We've broken the you know, this is the year low uh, on the S&P, the Dow kind of across the board. Um, so again, this really kind of opens up things to, you know, potentially, you know, having, having a lot more downside. Um, it will be interesting to see kind of tomorrow when they actually go through the fed statements with the fine tooth comb and figure out, you know, all the wording and so forth. Um, so no telling what happens tomorrow. We do have quadruple witching on Friday, which could give us typically does give us a boost. I'm, I don't think it will happen this year. It might, but I think any, at this point, any rally is going to be sold into, uh, cause we just had just sell, 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 sell relentless with no, you know, with no let up. So any, any rally, the, the buyers just aren't there anymore. Right. Um, and any buying is short covering and that's short lived. So any rally will be sold into and so forth. So all that being said, does not at this point, you know, unless something dramatically changes, um, Fed's not going to save us this year and uh, does not look like a Santa rally. China trade talk has been uh, postponed into January. So, um, you know, I don't know that we roll over here and just you know, drop, continue dropping, but I don't see any kind of catalyst for a lot of upside at the moment. Um, so that being said, I will consider the volatility is pretty high right now. Uh, the VIX close today about 25. So we're getting on up there right here. 
and this is implied volatility, but it's relatively the same. Um, so I would actually consider maybe doing maybe doing some iron condors, you know, here maybe. Um, I just don't know. That, that would be risky on the downside. I don't think so much on the upside, but uh, if we do indeed continue down, and, and I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just kind of waiting and watching. Um, again, we have been waiting, waiting, waiting. This was uh, anticipated to be a positive day. We did rally kind of into the Fed. Everybody was very hopeful, and things were looking good, and then just, you know, Powell just, you know, did the KO on the market for us so um you know he's the grinch at this point i guess but um anyway you know we'll see what happens tomorrow and going into friday um we we also next week um uh, traders you know we're going to be leaving for the holiday and so forth so it'll be lighter volume so i'm just actually not expecting a whole lot out of this market i don't think uh, between now and the end of the year and then we'll get into earnings season so um not a lot of great news unless you're short and uh and i'm going to be i'm am the same way and and have been you know trying to catch any kind of significant move higher to short into the problem is there just hasn't been any significant moves higher you know here's a 20 day you know a 20 day uh chart here and we just you know it's the the uh bowling ball rolling down the stairs there's no significant bounce in order to to reset and short, you know, to catch the next down move. It's just, you know, you can see it's just down, 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 down. So again, um, nothing to do but sit on cash, kind of wait, be very selective. Um, hedge, hedge slash short when you get chances on up moves. And other than that, be very selective in your trades and uh, be nimble. So I hope this helps and um, have a great rest of the day. And I will see you guys at the next update.